Of course I killed him, I'm an assassin. That's clever. That's clever. They use the whole hypocrisy thing. I, I feel like game designers are really catching on to the whole hypocrisy thing. You know, when the bad guy says that you are doing exactly what they are doing. Taking, you say? I'm taking. No, I'm assassinating. This is what I do. I assassinate. Look at this, look at this. There, he is. Oh, I got shot. Too bad I don't have a health bar in this. What the? No. This throwing thing again is so bad. It's always bad. Look at this, it's always bad. You never finish them off properly. Oh, he got shot in the face. Ah, uh, what's going on? Alright, he's dead, and he's also dead. More guys? Good, more guys. Spam, spam, spam. Slash him five times in the neck. There he goes, like stabbing four, five, six. You let me in? Now you say that? Alright, good. Can you please open the door? Thank you very much. I don't more guys. Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! Good shot, bro. Nice headshot. Wow, chain headshots, amazing. So much skill. You never should have come here. You put everything on the line for what? So you could rescue your father? Well, there's the cube behind us. Yeah. Don't, no, just get the cube. No, hug later, come on. This, we're in the middle of the Templar headquarters. You get the cube and let's get out of here, come on. And take the computer, I don't know, take a take a gun. Take the secretary, I don't know, just, just loot things. Oh no. Wait, do I have to... Can I just walk through and not bother these guys? I'm just gonna walk through and not bother these guys. Alright, come on, let's just, just go, just go. I'm deliberately not killing you, alright? Just. Let's go, let's get out of here. Out the front door. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. I still owe you a punch in the face, Dad. I still owe you a punch in the face. Alright, well let's go and plug the power source in and listen to Juno tell us how stupid we are again. Actually, she hasn't been calling us stupid ever since we got here. She's been telling us how stupid they were actually because they keep failing to save the world. Haha, <laughs> noobs. So I guess she's okay. She really did call us stupid a lot back in the last game though. Alright. So we're gonna have to do all this climbing again. 
Let's see if I remember from the last time we were here. Ah, uh, I've already forgotten. What, how do we get past this? Oh, here? Alright. And then up. Uh, I guess here. And then don't run off. And then uh, through here. Alright, and then... Here we are. Hey Juno! Ooh! Is the main door going to open? That's amazing! I feel like we could have just built a bridge over there without having to, you know, make this happen. Because, look, the only thing that was stopping us from getting over there was that bridge, right? So why couldn't we just, you know, get some scaffolding and just bridge across ourselves? Like, maybe just kind of scaffold our way around here to the other side and then just bridge. Wait a minute, I can't go through? I, wait, 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 what? I can't go through? We just turn this on. Maybe I can... hang off here and go through? No, no, no we don't. Alright, um... And then I die. Is it... Can I climb this and go through? What if I climb this? Is this a thing I can climb? No. Maybe... Nope, that is not a thing you can climb. Even though it looks like you should be able to grab onto that ledge. It is not, in fact, a thing you can climb. Look at that. Why can't I climb that ledge there? I can do that. Or maybe I should have gone around the other... Wait a minute. Maybe there's something that I've missed. Maybe I should not have come... Like, maybe that way? go that way? Is that a... I don't know... Look, every other time we've plugged in a cube, the game have shown us Juno telling us how much they fail. I was really hoping to listen to Juno talk about their failures again. Maybe it's just further ahead and I missed it. Or maybe we have to finish the uh, the thing with Connor. That's also possible. All right, so we're here. No, you can't. No, you can't get across. You can't get across. All right, so I guess we're not going to get across that bridge until. Oh, that must be the key. That must be the key that Haytham still has. The little ring thing. That must be the key that opens this gate here. So I was hoping we could climb out. No, that's not how this works. Alright, that's not how this works, my bad. There's no windows or openings on this side either. Alright, well, don't do that. What about... Nope, nothing down here. Okay, we don't do that. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I wanted to talk to Juno again. Well, let's talk to the others. Hi, Sean. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're yeah. close. How do you know? I just do. You could ask Juno. Juno knows everything. I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make... Well, 
mana. Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Taste of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though... I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You certainly got away with words, Rebecca. <laughs> Things are getting worse outside. What do you mean? Every day for the past two weeks, the sun has been throwing off larger and larger flares. Older satellites are starting to malfunction. I hear rumblings of recalling the crew on the International Space Station. There's already work being done as well to shield power stations and transformers on the ground. Not that any of it matters. This goes far beyond some brownouts. We all saw what's actually coming. Do you know how it works? Look, I'm no physicist, but it, it's something to do with the Earth's geomagnetic field. The flares and mass ejections disturb it, which appears to trigger seismic events. I've tried reaching out to people who might know better, but they all insist it's bunk. And I don't blame them. It sounds ridiculous. I wish it was. Basically, giant magnets are going to tear the Earth apart. Magnets. Best we finish up with Connor. All right, let's go chat with the others. I still need to punch Dad in the face. Oh, I have, a, I have a blade. Hey, do you think killing Vidic set up Sturgo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus, but they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people could take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Well, we're assassins, we just keep assassinating them, you know what I mean? That's what we do. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. Did it threaten to put me in a coma once? It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. You know, we can just scaffold around the, the door. Like, you know, get a few planks and just... bolt them together. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... Like, it's not that much of a gap. Right? You can just, you know, get some... I don't know, logs? Some two by fours or something. Hey, so um, when this is over, and assuming it all works out, I was hoping I could, you know, come home. I'd like nothing more. Is this still a home? I thought the Templars were really hunting you guys down. We're almost there, son. All right. No, seriously, can't you just scaffold your little? Let me look. You can easily just get a few planks and just, you know, bridge across here or something, and that's not that much further there, right? Or even, I don't know, get a ladder, get a rope ladder and climb down and just go back up the other side. This is just ridiculous, come on. It's a fake problem. It's not a real- the door is not a real door, you can just go around it. Hey Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved, it's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if 
kind of thing happens. Curious. So what was it like being back at Abstergo? I good didn't times. expect to get out of there alive. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He'd just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent, too, sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo, though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening to me. He was raised in an animus, Desmond. There's overexposure, and then there's... Daniel. Poor guy. That could never happen to you. We won't let it. He was raised in the Animus, so he never really... So he was basically raised in the Matrix. His entire life was his ancestors' memories. That's amazing. Hey, when this is all over, we should take a trip somewhere. Celebratory vacation. Yeah. That sounds nice. Now listen to you. Italy, Brazil, and the United States, all in the span of a few weeks. And you're complaining about not getting out enough? Seriously, Sean? No, not seriously. Are you mad? Trust me, no one wants time off more than I do, right? Do you have any idea how hard it is to crank those database entries out as fast as I do? The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can take that vacation. Alright. 